Hey guys, Mary Meet. This is Anastasia Autumn Fire. I just wanted to do a super, super quick video here um, on this candle that I made for my buddy Brandon's birthday. He absolutely adores Sailor Moon, so I thought, how could I make that witchy? Um, if you've watched my other videos, you know I do certain crafts that I call nerdy inspirations where I take something in pop culture or fandom or what have you. And find something, the, the witchy meaning behind it, the, the the core value of it, so to speak, or, or the, the magical theme that I can find within it. Finding, like, aspects of it and, and sometimes an archetype if it deals with an actual uh, character, which is what I did with Sailor Moon. Now, I studied the character and found her to be kind of this warrior spirit that works within the realm of um, love, truth, and kind of that friendship vibe. It, it was a little fluffy bunny, but um, what I did was I took it and then I also added a bit of, of my connection to warrior spirit and the moon goddess. So I did a layered candle, first one I've ever made, so it might, I see I had some, some of it didn't quite stay in the lines as it should have, but I went with a layered candle, so what I did was I made uh, three herbal blends, one to connect to the moon goddess and her divinity and her power, um, then I took um, some herbs for courage, love, and beauty. Then I took some herbs and such for truth, loyalty or friendship, and strength. And each layer has its own aspect. So on the bottom I did a white layer for the moon goddess connection spirituality. Then the red layer is for love, beauty, and courage. The blue layer is for the truth, honest, uh, truth loyalty, and um, strength. And then I topped it off again with that moon goddess energy. So we've got moon goddess at the root of the candle kind of as the foundation for the spell. And then the top of it also um, kind of giving it that kind of generating the power to go into the core. Um, what... I also did was each layer has its own stone embedded in it. So the bottom layer has a selenite moon, which is actually anchoring the wick. That was actually a trick that my friend Brandon showed me. Um, the red layer has a garnet. The blue layer has a lapis lazuli. And then the top layer has, which I can show you, sorry, please ignore the mess that is my working space right now, is a clear quartz. Um, point to help act as a generator. So, and then of course I put some lovely glitter on the top and the wick has a little bit of red wax on it too. Uh, so the glass jar was just a solid glass jar. What I did was, um, in the witch's alphabet, I wrote Sailor Moon. Uh, this I believe is her uh, brooch, which is the source of her power and transformation, which is ultimately what I kind of wanted to do with this candle was to help activate the powers within Brandon and help him kind of um, transform to an even more higher self, so to speak, because he's already such an insanely gifted witch and an amazing friend. So that was the basis for using that icon. It also connects to the character. And then back here, in the witch's alphabet is the spell, which some of it's kind of gotten worn down, so I need to re redo it. But even if the letters kind of come off with being handled, um, as I wrote it, I was thinking it and saying it along. So no matter what, it is ingrained, it is embedded, it is in there. Um, so, and I did that in gold. Um, gold because A, it worked with the character. But also B, although Sailor Moon is, it is very feminine, um, 
I did want masculine energy to be very much a thing here. Um, my friend Brandon is, is, is a guy and he's very proud of being a man. Um, so he, he's said that quite a few times, you know, I enjoy being a gay man. The key point is being a man. So <laughs> I wanted to make sure his masculinity was also represented. So I made sure to do that in the gold, um, to help connect to the God. And then at the bottom, I don't think it turned out very good, but I did put a pentagram and I drew it invoking, um, the power. So bringing it into this candle. So, yeah, so that is my Sailor Moon nerdy inspiration. I just wanted to share it with you. I'm really pleased with how it turned out, especially since it was my first shot. Um, I'm sure I know other people can do way better things, but I was quite pleased with it. And, and I really like the energy that it, it produced. I wasn't entirely sure how this nerdy ins inspiration would translate, but really, it's a really strong candle. It, it really is... It really does connect to goddess so beautifully. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and blessed be as always. Bye.